I'll save that one for later. Hi, welcome to Guitar Muse, I'm The Smitchens, and today we're going to finish our discussion of intervals, nailing all the dissonant intervals to major and minor seconds, sevenths, and the diminished fifth. Okay, before we get too into things, let's talk about dissonant intervals for a moment. What makes an interval dissonant? Well, by nature they lend the listener to a, a very tense and unsettling sound, like... versus the constant intervals with their very comfortable sound. It's very contrasting. That's the, that's the main difference. That being said, first up is the minor second. I'll use the D on the A string, fifth fret. The minor second is one fret higher. You go on the next string over, it's down four frets. Simple as that. The uh, major second is one fret higher than the minor second, so you'd go up two frets. And on the next string over, only down three frets. The minor and major second. Okay. Find a minor seventh from that D. Add 10 frets on the same string. If you go over one string and up uh, 5 frets, or if you go over two strings on the same fret, the major seventh is, you know, as expected, one fret higher than the minor seventh. You go up 11 frets on the same string, or on the next string over, up 6 frets or two strings over, up one fret. The minor and major seventh. Alright, the diminished fifth is arguably the most dissonant of all the intervals. Sometimes it's called the augmented fourth. Uh, from a given root note, you go up six frets. Um, if you go over one string and up one fret, you'll get that same note. It's right between the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth. If you remember those from the first lesson, it's right in the middle there. The diminished fifth. And for the exercise. This one's a little bit trickier just because of the, the interval placement. It's more or less the same formula with um, the root note alternating between a minor major second, then a major minor seventh, and then I hit the diminished fifth as a chord, sort of, and then I repeat the pattern, sort of gradually ascending. Again, it's kind of it's kind of cumbersome the fingering, and you know, with a B string tuning difference, keep an eye on that, and you should be okay, but, you know, again, the point is not necessarily to play it blisteringly fast, just to, just to recognize where these intervals are on the fly, so, um, there you go, enjoy, thanks for watching.